Welcome to another Noble Review session for students of microeconomics. Today we're going to look at a monopolistically competitive firm taking a short run economic loss. Remember, in monopolistic competition, we have many firms that are selling similar products. These products are not identical, though. So the firm itself does have some control over the price. It has more control over price than perfect competition, but less control over the price than, say, a monopoly. Here is a firm that is minimizing its economic losses. First, we draw our axes, price and quantity, downward sloping demand, downward sloping marginal revenue underneath the demand curve. We draw in our marginal cost curve, and then we put in our average cost curves. We have an ATC curve that is above the price. It hits its minimum point when it intersects the marginal cost curve and then rises. Then we have an AVC that is below the price, hits its minimum on the marginal cost curve, and then rises as well. It gets closer and closer to the ATC curve as output increases. To determine price and output for a monopolistically competitive firm, we use the classic MR equals MC rule. MR equals MC gives us output, and then we travel on up to the demand curve to get price. The area of per unit economic loss is the difference between ATC and the price. And then when you multiply by the quantity, we can shade in the region that represents the total economic loss. This firm loses less money by producing in the short run than it would when it would shut down and pay its fixed cost. We can tell that because the price is greater than the average variable cost at the MR equals MC point. Well, that's how you illustrate a monopolistically competitive firm taking a short run economic loss. Thank you for watching this video and studying with the Noble Review.